2003 season will be forever etched in the history of college football, as both the LSU Tigers and the USC Trojans were declared national champions that year. It was the last split championship in the history of college football. The season began with Oklahoma in the top spot, and the Sooners held it throughout the regular season. USC and LSU also boasted strong teams, but they each had hiccups during the regular season. Both the Trojans and the Tigers ran the table the rest of the way, and the big question was which of them would play top-ranked Oklahoma. Then, in a twist few saw coming, Kansas State routed Oklahoma 35-7 in the Big 12 championship game. This loss caused the Sooners to fall to number three in the nation. USC moved to the top spot in both the AP and coaches poll. LSU climbed to number two, and it seemed destined that USC and LSU would play for the championship. Then, in a surprising twist, LSU and Oklahoma, who had both had strong seasons, managed to surpass USC in the BCS rankings. This was due to a combination of their own victories and an unexpected loss by Hawaii, which diluted the strength of USC's schedule. This result meant the national championship game would pit the number two and number three teams in the AP and coaches poll, while the top ranked team was left out. Despite the national controversy, the games went on. USC beat Michigan 28-14 in the Rose Bowl, and LSU beat Oklahoma 21-14 and in the Sugar Bowl. LSU was declared national champions by the BCS, but the AP voters chose not to adhere to the BCS computers and declared USC its national champion. The split titles alarmed many in college football, and the BCS repeatedly tweaked the formula over the next few years to ensure that the top-ranked team in the nation would not be excluded from the title game. Eventually, the BCS was replaced by the college football playoff, putting to rest the idea that the top team would never play for a national champion. Ship.